What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's get right into the news! Well, 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 for your anniversary <laughs> has kicked off! Yes sir, if we click on this button right here, it tells you that, way, for your anniversary is starting, it says a bunch of stuff about, uh, go to the website to find out more, but there's no link here, and you can see all the words over here to the left side, um, but I don't even know why we're putting it there, because we're just gonna go to this screen and talk about it here. So. This is a four-year anniversary website, terecru.channel, whatever, four-year anniversary, that's how you get there. Um, but I'm just gonna go over all of it right now. You don't really need to ever go back to this site. So there's four parts to this four-year anniversary, but unfortunately, we're only eligible for basically two parts. Numbers uh, two and three are basically just not eligible for anyone watching this video. Um, and we're going to go over that once. Let's go over the first part first. So the first part of the four-year anniversary is a daily login reward. And you can win potentially... You're, you're guaranteed to win 40 gems. So you are guaranteed 40 gems uh, for throughout the event. Now, potentially, if you win... So like every day you log in, you're going to get one of these 10 things. You're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. 10th place, the lowest reward you can get every single day is 4 gems. You can get number 9, which is a guaranteed gold rare recruit pool, which maybe might be a legend, but at least it's a guaranteed gold. Number 8 is 44 forbidden tomes and 4 gems. Number 7 is 14 universal skill books and 4 gems. 6 is a ton of limit break materials and a bunch of gems. I think that's only one of each of the jewels and then a bunch of... Um, like 40 mini, 40 small, 24 medium, and one large, and then four gems. Number five, guaranteed legend. I believe this was a um, super evolved legend, and four gems. Number four is 10 guaranteed skill books, four gems. 44 gems for prize number three, more guaranteed legends for prize number two. And then 440 gems for prize number one. So if you get really, really lucky, you could win prize number one 10 times in a row. Like that's going to happen. But I mean, it could happen that you win number one 10 times in a row. If you want to find out how or which prize you get, every single day the prize goes out at um, update o'clock. So make sure you guys log in every single day for update o'clock. I love you, Twitch chat. You guys are great. I got prize no prize number nine. It's really simple. It just says right there what number prize you got. In case somehow you didn't know which one it was, you click on that. Since I got prize number nine, I do get a free pull. Click on that. Do the pull. Get a guaranteed legend. Wow, that is a weird looking legend. Anyways, on to prize number two. So, prize number two is not applicable to most people here. So in order to be eligible for prize number two, you have to have not logged in since January 31st. So if you have not played since January 31st, then by logging in, you get 50 gems and uh, put in. You also have a daily login event where you log in for seven days after not having logged in for, since January 1st, where you get a guaranteed legend at the end of those seven days. But I assume that most people here are caught up and I want to get away from the stupid bird noise. Thanks. Um, I assume that most people here have probably logged in since then, so... Unfortunately, that disqualifies us for number two. Prize number three are IRL rewards. Prize number three can win you a, a, a nice little kettle and a toaster oven. You can win a Dyson Airblade. You can win a TV. You can win a bike. You can win Amazon gift card, or you can win a lollipop bouquet. But all these IRL prizes are for Japanese players. And uh, if you're not in Japan, you are ineligible for these rewards. So unfortunately, even if you win, if they contact you, it's going to be in Japanese. And then you're not going to be able to say that you're in Japan. And so you're going to be ineligible for rewards. So they're just going to pull someone else. Oh, look at that. Make sure you follow, make sure you retweet their tweets. But you have to be in Japan for awards. Yeah, just move to Japan, and then you can be eligible for awards. 
Now, all the way at the bottom, part number four, we can finally be eligible again once we get 444,444 retweets or uh, Facebook likes. I think it's the number of people visiting this page or just retweets or Facebook likes. Whatever, you don't have to worry about it. We're going to hit that 444444 easy. Yes, 4444 heads. And you're going to get one a choose your own legend here. So which red legend do I recommend? Because I know that's going to be the number one comment on YouTube and on Twitch. Which legend do I recommend? I, I better see six fours here, guys. Okay, like six fours is the correct number. Uh, Zoro six plus is an amazing sub and captain. Dregs loses. Sabo six plus is amazing, if you ha especially if you have good free spirit teams like um, Gear 4 or Time Skip Luffy. Fujitora is especially good when teamed up with a Doflamingo because with Fuji and Dofi, you have so many matching orbs between the two of them and you actually can make very easy teams that are guaranteed fully matching orbs as long as they're not a block orb. Rob Lucci, Hancock, and Shanks are the weakest picks. So basically, don't go Rob Lucci, Hancock, Shanks. They are the weaker side of things. The left side over here are all solid picks, and you can't go wrong with any of these. Fuji, amazing driven captain, especially now that version 2 Dofi makes, makes Fuji just like so much better. Sabo, amazing sub if you have a good free spirit team. Zoro, great slasher captain and great driven slash slasher sl sub because he is the only so far driven chain locker. And Jinbei just recently got his 6+, plus, which doesn't make him... Jinbei is not a power character, but actually Jinbei's 6+, plus version actually makes him a very, 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 very good support character, getting rid of blue and rainbow shields uh, on his special ability and giving full matching orbs. So it makes him a pretty good fighter captain, but an amazing, amazing support sub, being able to get rid of blue and rainbow shields. So this four left side over here, take any of those. Only take the right side if you've already taken... Uh, if you already have all four of these. And then on the right side, in order, I would say probably Shanks, then Rabuchi, then Hancock. Hancock is the weakest of the batch. But hey, she's no Sengoku. Hancock is still decent, but no Sengoku. And then at the bottom, slight, they, they, they put this at the bottom, but this is some very exciting news. There is a video here that doesn't work. Yep, still doesn't work. So uh, Bandai, uh, once, you, once you fix that, we can we can go ahead and talk about whatever that is. So they do have more information about the anniversary ship here. Anniversary ship is going to on the 21st to the 6th once again go back to being a three times XP and berry booster. So just like it is right now, it is currently a three times XP and three times berry booster. It's going to become a max special ship and is going to go back to being a three times berry and XP booster all the way until the 6th. So we get an entire month with amazing three anniversary ships. Luffy and Nami are going to be Sugofest characters. That is technically all we know. We don't know if they're legends. We don't know if they are, they could actually just be limited points boosters for Treasure Map Big Mom. Now we do know for sure this is Treasure Map Big Mom. This says this is Treasure Map Big Mom. Do not believe anyone who says it's Legend Big Mom. It is Treasure Map Big Mom 100%. But is this a Legend Luffy and a Legend Nami? Is this 6 plus log Luffy? Is this, is this limited treasure map points boosters for Big Mom? I, I just... Yeah, no, I, I, I... It looks like they're going to be Legend. I really hope it's just Legend Nami and not Legend Gear 4 because I do not want another Legend Gear 4. We've already had so many Luffys. Don't give me another Legend Gear 4. Give me a Legend Nami though. I am... 100% in on Legend Nami. Legend Nami would be sweet. And then we get Treasure Map Big Mom on the 22nd to the 27th. Uh, going up here, by the way, Jinbei 6 Plus will be points boosted on Treasure Map Big Mom. I don't want it to be a dual unit either. Don't make it dual unit. It's going to be dual unit Nami Luffy is not going to be great. I pass. But yeah. That is so far what we've got. Don't forget that Four times skill ups has started on Japan. Four times skill ups on Japan is going to be lasting for the next two days. So you don't have much time to get to it, but do it all. Uh, that two days is going to be gone by the time Treasure Map is gone. So get your four times skill ups done now while it's still around. We do have this picture that could just be the Sugafest boosted characters Brooke, 
chopper, and a bunch of furries. And then treasure map Big Mom all the way at the top. I haven't seen Yami, guys. For your anniversary. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get ready for that Sugo. No Sugo Fest details. But hey, that's going to be coming up soon. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all stay beautiful.